Welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show, coming to you from Viva Las Vegas. We're at World Crypto Con. I'm Drew. I'm Brent. And we have with us Gary. Hi. And Christina. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so, uh, you know, Brent, uh, you know, we're a couple of pretty sharp guys because we have country smarts, right? Right. But right. Um, in our midst are a couple of geniuses. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. So, uh, okay, coin tell us what y'all do. Coin geniuses, okay? <laughs> now, he's not going to talk. He's just going to laugh. So, you'll have to help her with the mic. No yeah. problem. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Oh, so, so Krenis, you. Christina, tell yes. us what is Coin Genius? So, Coin Genius is a data and analytics platform um, using all the best data in crypto all in one place. And then we run AI machine learning on it to draw correlations and make trading and mining easy for the average person with the same set of tools that Wall Street has. So Brent, tell our redneck buddies wait, what wait, that means. Say what you just <laughs> said. Uh, basically what they do is they do some analysis to let you know what you need to be mining. Okay. Also they do some analysis on the coins that can assist you in your trading. This is true. We actually do thousands of different data points on all of the coins so you can understand how they respond to event triggers, um, how market regimes are working, what's happening in the crypto world of finance in comparison to the rest of the world, commodities, um, what's happening in Hong Kong, how that moves money around. And because of blockchain, we can see all of that. So we're just reporting on it and we're bubbling it up in a way that, you know, my grandmother could understand how to become a trader. Even if she doesn't want to become a trader, she could piggyback on someone. And we're allowing it to be more available to the masses to have a trading strategy and understand that their 401k with their 4% return is not enough to be financially healthy for the longevity of our lives. Okay, so are y'all a subscription-based service? Yes. Tell you, Okay, so kind of go through the, I, I'm a guy, I know nothing about this. I'm sure. Billy Bob, I just fed my cattle, I'm getting the poo off my boots and all that, and I think I need to go in there and sign up. Okay, so you would go to uh, coingenius.ai. Okay. And Billy Bob would be a retail trader, not an institutional trader. Okay. So those are two different kinds of subs subscriptions. So Billy Bob would go in and he could uh, have really easily identified things. Um, you can see the needle move from red to green. You can see th that's what we do. We quantify everything. So you can see it go from a two to a four to a seven. And we've created indexes, um, a fear and greed index, a bear versus bull index, our sentiment index. Um, we've created the Coin Genius 15 index, so it's a piggyback on trading. The, the data that we've pulled together is the best data out there on probably 17, 20, 100 different websites. We've put it all into one place. We also have a really cool partnership. Uh, we have many cool partnerships, but one of them is to see your trading data in 3D with Global Liquidity. That's on our website right now. Okay. It's hypnotizing to watch it. It really says, so you're sitting there just mesmerized, sit at the screen, and uh, which they're doing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, 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 Brent, you know, as a guy who traded and worked for Merrill Lynch for a number of years, now all of a sudden this new asset class that you talk about all the time. I, I mean, these kind of tools and everything, what, what will this do for the marketplace? Well, the thing of it is, uh, you know, I, I, I did it back in the day when I ran my fund, and I had a bank of like four or six or eight screens. Yeah. I had my own little black box uh, uh deal that I'd put together and, and I would combine different um, technical indicators because when you get two or three of them thrown in at the same time, well, then you got everybody that's following that one, that one, or that one is now on the right side of it with you. you know, but when you, when you do that, you realize that you can do that on a 30-second interval, you can do it on a three-minute interval, you can do it on a three-hour interval, you can do it on a three-day interval, you can do it on a 30-day 30, 30 interval. And of course, what what they've done is is bubbling the data up, and I, I haven't used their interface, but I would assume that you have the ability to come in, put kind of down what your frequency of trading is, what your time frame is, what are you looking for, so on and so forth. You know, there's there's there was times I was wagging enough money that I couldn't just turn on a dime because when I moved, I moved it this way, and then I moved out, I moved it that way, mm -hmm. kind of a deal. Um, but one thing that I always caution about on the crypto trading is, is technical analysis in the stock market has been built over a long period of time. And right. In fact, in 1982, I was 24. I started with Merrill Lynch, and I used something called Joe Granville's On Balance Volume. And I don't know if y'all ever heard of that. I have not. Okay, this so this one's new for me. So, uh, so basically, On Balance Volume was one of the first one technical indicators, and what Joe Granville did. And Joe was kind of obnoxious because he's probably dead by now. So I can say he is. But anyway, um, basically what he did was is he would take the volume on an up day and add it 
to a uh, to a sum and take the volume on a bad day and or a down day and add it to a sum and literally then he would look at that line and look for a new high or a new low or so on and so forth and so very rudimentary and so basically i've been around the whole time that that all of this has happened um, you know, one of the interesting things that I keep commenting about is, is in the crypto space, it's very thinly traded. Right. There's not much float. Okay. We can slice and dice. And don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not paying on their product because uh, I'll. I'll be checking it out. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and exactly. probably subscribing. But. Yeah. But what my point is is because you know you know I've been so busy with the building I hadn't done some trading that I'd yeah. like to do. But. Um, but the point is is that over time, you know. The the coins need to become more robust. They need to be become out of uh, few hands and into many hands, right? Because then that will actually create a greater de- de- degree of stability and predictability yes. to the markets. Where right now, you know, if you're that if you're that three month trader, you can, you can get the bejeebies whips on out of mm-hmm. it. Yeah. But also, if you're the three minute trader, you get the bejeebies yeah. whips on yeah. out of yeah. you. And so, there's somewhere along that continuum that people will find that makes sense for them. And I've 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 sounded the alarm for two years now that you know that futures and options and basically off chain those yeah. things would have people that are investing basically they're wagering mm-hmm. on the value of this thinly traded commodity. Okay. Um, creates a certain level of moral hazard as to what they will do with the underlying commodity because it doesn't take a whole lot of money to push Bitcoin down mm-hmm. and if and if you're right. so short that your pants don't fit over here, well then guess what? You're gonna make a lot of money over here and you don't care about what you lost over there. It, it, but it sounds like a fantastic product. And I really like the I really like the you can have double trading strategies sure. to like really I mean, it all comes down to like math and code and physics. It's just data. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, well, you know, one of the things you talk about is looking at this, and you've been in it long enough now, where you're sitting there and saying, "Man, take two to five percent of your portfolio and do this." To have a tool like this oh, yeah. can yeah. give you some stability some or mitigate the risk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, and, you know, and part of it is it's becoming an asset class. It is. And so, you know, as it becomes an asset class, part of the reason that the institutions are over here doing the futures and the options sure. and all the things that they're doing and trying to figure out a way to make ETFs and all this mm-hmm. other kind of stuff. Right. Part of the reason they're doing that is they know it's an asset class. They also know that it's so thinly traded that they can't plow a hundred million dollars in over right. here because yeah. they're going to, they're going they yeah. to the moon, you know, yeah. kind yeah. of yeah. a deal. So. Supply and demand. There's enough of that. Great, great product. And I love the 3d because if you've ever been on the uh, New York Stock Exchange and and realized that those guys pay millions and millions of dollars mm-hmm. for those seats, so they can take a look at the book, yeah. and and know what's what's down the road there, what's down the road here, and and being able to show in a 3D representation, because you also have these things trading on so many exchanges, exactly. yeah. that rolling all that data up is actually very important. So, so, cri- so Christina, a quick note on yeah. that for all of the exchanges, we have a partner with. Um, Coin routes, who actually goes and now they, you can trade on our platform with them, and it will go out and find the best route arb, them. yeah, the arbitrage opportunity for you and route it for you. And they are now part. What we're doing is we're taking all the best things in crypto, the best ten percent of the data, and putting them all in one website. Okay. Then allowing you as the consumer to have the user experience where you can hit the mute button on the things you don't care about. But when the things that you do care about happen, our intelligence engine, our sentiment engine, things that we're picking up in real time all over the world, we can bring it to you and now you can react. Now, if you can do that as a human, right, for social trading and and community collaboration for trading, you can also then code to execute and automate those things. And that's where you get the fund for the 99%. That's when we start bringing real wealth back into the hands of the people. The institutional folks right now still haven't really moved into the space yet. And I think that Bitcoin, um, which is amazing, was basically a technology to track your magic, the gathering cards. And I think as technologists, we can do better than that. I think what's going to become this digital asset class is technology that hasn't even been built yet. And when we get the AI and working with the interoperability of the blockchains, and we can really help change the world with this stuff. Yeah, yeah. So one question, how much? 
How much? How much? Oh, well, for the retail trader, it's just twenty dollars a month for the. Ah, I'll, I'll, pay, I'll pay that in heartbeat. The institutionals is because they hit our system so much harder. They're sure. five hundred dollars a month. Okay, and which so, is still very reasonable if yeah. you want an edge in the market. So, so how long has Coin Genius been around? And you're not very excited about the project. Obviously, it no, comes through yeah, there. No, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what did you do before this? Yeah, I was a technical project manager for Fortune 500, doing digital marketing. And we did it for five years, and we couldn't pivot the company fast enough. And Jeremy Bourne, our CEO, who you guys have had on the show, came to me uh, two years ago and said, hey, let's do everything that we do for Fortune 500 for the entire crypto industry. Okay. Let's go bring big data and good data into the crypto industry. Because you guys are like trading like it's 1975, and Wall Street's like, I can't even do anything with that data. Yeah. So we just started there, clean, normalized API. And then we started playing with it. And then our data scientists got involved, and then our Wall Street trading team got involved, and then the quants got involved. And now we're just doing amazing things, and I'm very excited. I tell you what, Brent, this is one of those things you got to check out. And I'm like you, and I know we did have you. I remember now talking to your CEO, and uh, it's one of those things where we're busy doing all the stuff we're doing. But I need to allocate a little bit of time in my 48-hour day yeah. to go out and check this out. You oh, know? no, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Absolutely. Folks, this is another real good one that goes and it answers so many of the questions of our redneck buddies out there. Is it real and everything else? Right. You guys are helping to make this real. Thousands of data points. It either is or it isn't, and that means it will respond respond to event triggers differently. Tether and Bitcoin and EOS and Ethereum, they are all very different. They have all very different attributes. Sure. We need to make it easy for people to understand that. Yeah, yeah. I like it, Brent. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Folks, Wild West Crypto Show, stay tuned. Got more great stuff coming. Thanks so much for having Coin Genius on. Folks, thanks for watching Wild West Crypto Show. Please subscribe to us right here. And you can watch more videos right over here. Additionally, if you'll turn the little bell on, every time we upload a new and exciting video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching the Wild West Crypto Show.